Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, today's a big day. It's a little different, it's a little different of a vlog because today is a full on unboxing. I found the NECA Tiffany replica. And today, today we're gonna unbox her. I've been looking at her in the box literally since I got her, which was, oh my gosh, maybe the beginning of February, so it's been a while. And I'm so excited. Okay, let's just do it. Let's get rolling, let's unbox it. Here she is. She's beautiful. How beautiful is this box though? Like that's, before I like rip open it, I kind of want to appreciate how beautiful it is. Um, NECA always does such a great job with the packaging. And uh, as you guys know, I keep all the boxes and I'm definitely going to keep this box. I might even keep her in the box after I take her out. I don't know. She's so beautiful that I kind of want her on display. So anyways, let's appreciate the box for a second here. This is the front. It looks great. And then you go to the side and she's just doing her little thing. She's so cute. She's got the bad gal going on in the back. And then my favorite is that she's holding Chucky's head. It's perfect. I love it, it's perfect. Okay, let's open the box. Oh my God. Okay, she low key looks like she's in a coffin. Oh my God, she's so pretty. I'm gonna start cutting from the back and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. First and foremost, we have to talk about how detailed she is. From literally the tip of her head to the bottom of her feet, she's so intricately detailed. Um, I hate to lift your skirt up, I'm sorry, but first of all, look at her amazing boots. Look at the little chain on her boots. Like, I want to own these. I want these exact pair of boots. NECA, I know that you're not in the shoe world, but if you are, one day, create these for me because I'll buy them. Um, and I even love that they have like actual soles on the bottom of them, which means that if she gets out and she's running around, you're going to see her little feet prints through like the snow and stuff. Okay. Um, she also has a cute little garter and these like badass like fishnets. So cute. Her dress is like super soft and it's, it actually feels like of quality. It doesn't feel cheap. She's got her badass leather jacket, obviously. But again, like it's detailed, like it has little buckles and zippers and it looks like a legitimate jacket that I would wear. Actually, I think I own one that looks just like this. Um, and then she also has the beautiful Chucky uh, tattoo and does come with the Tiff necklace. I just haven't put it on her yet, um, but hopefully you can get a good shot of it. Sorry for the glare. It does come with an instruction sheet of basically what her body is capable, like the positions her body is capable of moving in. But it does have a warning that if you try to move it in a way that isn't suggested, you could damage the body. Her eyes, you can like shift her eyeballs around so that they can look to where you want. So I'm gonna have her looking right at us. Uh, she has her beautiful black lipstick. Her lashes are like actual eyelashes. And um, her hair, like she's got that beautiful signature Tiffany hair. And also has, I'll show you real close, she's got the claws. I actually was wearing the same color um, nail polish the other day. We would have matched Tiff, it would have looked great. I don't know where I'm gonna put her cause she's pretty big and my Chucky shelf is just a shelf, which I will show you cause I don't think I've shown you the updated Chucky shelf yet, but all in all, I'm so, so, so happy with this purchase. I absolutely love her. Um, and there is a Chucky, a NECA Chucky doll as well that I think I mentioned pre-ordering and I haven't. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna have get my hands on it, but hopefully I will in the future because I definitely wanna get her, you know, her other half. You're just so pretty. I love you, Tiff. Even her teeth look great. It's, it, it is absolutely wild to me. So my, my Chucky collecting continues. There are other toys that I do wanna get that I'll add to the collection eventually. You guys know I'm on the hunt for Glenn. Uh, Trick, or Street, Trick or Treat Studios has their own line of Chucky toys that are absolutely beautiful. And I think those are probably gonna be the next ones after I finish collecting uh, the NECA toys. But I'm just so excited and I'm so thrilled to have her. She's so perfect, it's so beautiful. Oh. I love it. There is like nothing that compares to finding a grail item and then ripping the box open and actually like being able to hold it in your hands. I do keep some of my things in the package 
I've shown you some of them, especially some of my Puppet Master toys. I don't take them out, but there's something about actually holding in your hand and just connecting with it. And I know that sounds like, I don't know, maybe a little bit over the top, but I'm just excited and I'm thrilled and I am so happy to have her in the collection. Uh, if you can get your hands on one of these NECA toys, I strongly suggest you grab one, especially if you love Chucky and you love the franchise and you love Tiff. I can't say enough good things about her and I'm so happy to have her in the collection. Out of curiosity, what is your favorite of the Chucky movies? Comment below. I want to know. Do you watch the TV show? I love the TV show. Uh, I love all the movies. I think... I think Seed of Chucky is up there as one of my favorites because I love Glenn so much, but I really love the original. It's probably, in my opinion, the best of the whole series, but I really enjoy all of them. And actually, The Blade and I did a full rewatch recently, and I can seriously watch those movies over and over again. But I, I really have a soft spot. But I really have a soft spot for part three, so I think that might be my favorite. But comment below if you love Chucky and tell me your favorite. All right, well, that's gonna conclude this video. I know it was a little bit of a short one, a little bit different than what I usually do, but I really wanted to do one full uh, video of just unboxing this incredible toy. I, I know I said this before, but I've been waiting to unbox her for so long, and I'm just excited, and I really just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I don't know, if you wanna see more unboxing, please comment and let me know. I know you have said that you like my toy hauls, and obviously my Oreo taste test, I have, a bunch of Oreos lined up actually. Uh, I'm just waiting to be able to do the taste tests. And once I am, I will for sure make sure to put those on the vlog. But if there's anything else you want to see, comment below and let me know. And please continue to give me your toy hunting uh, tips and tricks. I actually have been listening to you guys and it is actually super helpful because I'm a noob when it comes to this stuff. So having you guys to help me out is like amazing like it really does help so any tips and tricks let me know and comment them and also if there's anything specific you think I need in the collection if it's a Chucky toy a puppet master toy or really any of the horror icons that you know I love comment below and let me know because I'm game to go toy hunting and take you with me so uh I'm just so excited I'm so happy I can't believe I have her. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Uh, all right. That's going to be this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, comment and hit the bell. All of those things really help my channel grow. And I just, again, I say this every video, but I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.